Uh, can you start by telling us your name and where you're from? My name is Loretta Reardon. I'm from here in Prince Edward County, and I was born in 1939. Okay. All right. Well, we'll start off by asking, uh, when you were growing up, what records did you listen to? Did you have any favorite artists or anything? Yes. Um, we listened mostly to country and western because that was the thing. And then, as a few years after that, after the after the fifties started, we listened to Pat Boone and all the romantic uh, records that were being played at that time. A great time to be. <laughs> Did you have a record player in your home? Yes, and we got it from the furniture store. And that's where the record players, you would go to the furniture store, if you bought furniture, then you probably got a, a record player. Mm -hmm. And the records, um, they were about 99 cents a piece. It was the 78s, and then after a while we got the 45s. And you had a piece that would fit inside the record because it had a bigger, the little opening was bigger, the little hole mm -hmm. was bigger, so you had to put something in it to make it fit on the on the player. Oh, interesting. Um, were you allowed to play any kind of music you wanted, or was there any music your parents were kind of uncomfortable with? No, because we just had, like I said, the country music mm -hmm. and a, a few of the, uh, the uh, I guess there were more the romantic music, you know, like, like mm -hmm. I said, from Pat Boone, Frank Sinatra, uh, artists like that. And when a new artist would come on, the, on the radio, the, um, they would announce what, who he was, his name, and also the type of music that he played. Mm -hmm. And then we would all run to, the, to, the, to Roses or to Woolworths to buy a record. And they were only 99 cents, but that was a lot of money then. So we would have to kind of switch around. And then it went up to $1.29, and that was a disaster then. Oh my we, did, we all had a dollar. That was <laughs> it. <laughs> so what, did all your friends have record players too? And they kind of Most of them. Uh-huh. Okay. Or if one person had one and some of the others didn't, uh, if a boy had a car, they would bring the record player and we would go to someone's home and then we would play the records that way. Okay. Rather than... All right. What did your parents think about record players? My dad and mom didn't say too much. You know, because like I said, the songs at that time, the records at that time, were very, very nice records. You know, like mm -hmm. Patsy Cline, uh, I'm Walking the Floor Over You. Uh, and then we had Hank Williams, you know, just mm -hmm. mostly uh, the country western music. Um, moving on to radio, do you, what kind of experiences do you remember having with the radio? Great. Uh, we thoroughly enjoyed the radio because there again, that was something that the whole family enjoyed. Um, we had a record, we had a radio and it was in the kitchen. And I can remember on Saturday nights, my two sisters, we would all go to the kitchen and we would put the, the radio on and listen to the talk shows and things. Mm -hmm. And one thing I can remember, and it's been, so it had to have been about 65 years ago, that there was a little girl that had fallen in a well in Texas. And everybody, they wrote a song about it. So everybody would come to the, to their radios and listen to what was going on with the little girl and if they had found her or whatever. And I can remember the Saturday that they found her and they said that, you know, she had died. That my two sisters and me, we just sat there and cried and cried because they found her name was Kathy. And so we were listening, that's where we got our news from. Um, there was not a lot on the radios at the time, like we didn't have it all day long. Mm -hmm. In the mornings, we would turn it on probably and listen to some of the news. But my dad had a dairy farm, so we were up early, so we didn't get a chance to listen to the, the radio that much. Then in the evening was when we listened to it mostly. Um, enjoyed it, and like I said, we had different shows up on the radio, like we had The Shadow. Only the shadow knows where the shadow goes. And so then we had to use our imagination mm -hmm. to figure out where that shadow had gone. And then we had, we listened to Amos and Andy. Jack Benny, a favorite of mine was uh, George Byrne and Gracie Allen. Those were wonderful shows. And there again, 
we had to we had to think of it. We had to use our imagination. Ball games. You know, we listened to the Yankees and the Dodgers and things like that when they played baseball, which was a great thing. Mm -hmm. But as we got a little bit older, we could rush home at four o'clock when the bus came at four o'clock, dropped us off at four. We could run home and watch uh, How to Duty, which was Captain Kangaroo. And we, we watched that because that was one of the first shows on. Mm -hmm. So that was just, I think back now and I think, what was I thinking? But it, <laughs> it was just so, it was so new. Uh -huh. Everything was so new. You know, we, we read a lot, but we also, this was something that was very new. We could listen to the radio, and then we, when television came, we could also listen and we could see. But everything was in black and white, mm -hmm. but it didn't make any difference. You know, we could see it and we could say, well, I know exactly what's here. Mm -hmm. So it was just, that was a great time. It was a great time to be alive, I think. Okay. Uh, was it kind of like radio where there's only certain times of the day? I know you said it cut off at 11. But. Yeah. I, uh, well, I don't remember watching it before 4 o'clock. Okay. And like I said, we only had about five channels, four or five channels mm -hmm. that we could watch. And uh, three of them were local. So we only had one that would bring it in from New York. Um, what do you remember about the corporate sponsors of TV shows? Uh, we had, the, like I said, the, my favorite was the, the little Alka Seltzer man. Mm -hmm. They, you know, he was just so lively and jumping around and everything. And then we had um, the singers. We had, uh, and then we had the cigarette ads again. We had uh, Johnny, who was for Philip Morris. Uh, you know, he would say something about Philip Morris, and so we listened, you know, those are the things I remember. Mm -hmm. And then we had the uh, Hit Parade, the American Hit Parade, and those were the songs that were popular, you know, they were, and they, they had the singers, mm -hmm. and they would sing the, all the popular songs. That's how we would listen to some of the music then, you know, we would hear it. Oh, just so. Um, what, if anything, do you remember about the quiz show scandals? I don't remember, except it was a sixty-four, was it a sixty-four thousand dollar question or something like that? I don't remember a lot about it because it was there and then it was not. So you know, whatever happened, maybe it wasn't as popular or mm -mm, something. Mm -mm, not a whole lot. To, and see, we didn't have the like they have now, where we have people that talk all day. You know, all the yep. news. We had maybe one time, six o'clock, that was the news. About, was your reception pretty good on your television? It was kind of, when it first started, it was kind of fuzzy. Mm -hmm. And you would have uh, periods of when, you know, you couldn't tell what the shows were. But that would clear up, you know. Usually if we had rain and stuff like that, it might be a so little weather, bit, yeah, a little different. Mm -hmm. um, do you remember the first 30 second TV commercial or any of um, I just remember, like I said, the commercial with the, um, with the Alka-Seltzer, the, the, uh, Marlboro, mm -hmm. and the different cigarette uh, so, commercials. Yeah, yeah. Palmara and things like that. Do you, they were, were they just kind of basic, quick, like? Uh, well, you know, with the Marlboro man, he says, he rode the horse and he had the hat on, mm -hmm. the cowboy hat. This is Marlboro country. <laughs> I remember him. He was handsome. <laughs> and then um, I remember it was a lot of, after, when the color came, they were in color and they were beautiful then. You know, the mm -hmm. colors were so vivid. But after you watch black and white for a while, when you see color, it's a wow, this is great. <laughs> so I, you know, that was special because then everything, you know, you could see the girls and um, see how pretty they were. In the, and I remember the red dresses, you know, a lot of it was done in reds mm -hmm. because you had, you could, it looks like to me, I remember that we could put, turn on, you know, make it color and you had a button if you push for red, and one for green and one for blue. Really? And that would, mm-hmm. 
it was a different time.